Hey guys, so this is going to be my Dan Brown book collection. Now, Dan Brown is one of my favourite authors. I just love his work. So I'm going to start. So the first one I'll start with is my all-time favourite Dan Brown book. And that is Deception Point. This one literally put me in the got me in the edge of my seat like I could not put this book down like I must have finished it in a matter of days like I was so hooked on the storyline like this is far by my favorite Dan Brown like if you've not read a Dan Brown book in your life I definitely recommend this one this one is a really good one basically they end up discovering something around Antarctica and that's the main story of it and it's just it's just a really good story I definitely definitely recommend that one Another Dan Brown book I have is Digital Fortress. Again, this is a really good book. Uh, really good story with all Dan Brown stories I've read. It, I'm literally hooked on them anyway. Like, I could read, like, l like hours, hours. We're talking hours. Where some books I could literally only stomach, like, a few chapters. I could read loads of chapters of a book. I could pretty much finish a Dan Brown book in within a week like that's how hooked I am on his stories this one is to do with a code and um, that a virus ends up entering on these PCs and the end up with a code that they cannot break sorry about that I had to change location but basically as I said it's about um, these code breakers, they come across a code which they just cannot break. They've never seen it before and it's obviously a race against time to actually break this code because it's kind of like a virus. But yeah, again, this is a really good one. Now we have the controversial The Da Vinci Code. Some people will love it, some people will hate it, a lot of religious people will hate it. I actually really enjoyed it. This is was, to be fair, I, before I properly got into reading, I actually never read the book. I had actually only seen the film. And I really liked the film, but as usual, the books are usually always better. Like, nine out of ten times, the books are usually better anyway when it comes to films, just because there's a lot more explanation and stuff like that. But again, what can I say? I don't really need to talk about the Da Vinci Code, really, and what it's about, because everyone knows what it's about. Um, it's very controversial as I said I mean if you're not if you're religious and you're not open minded you're not obviously you're not going to enjoy it but if you're one of those like open minded people you will enjoy it really like it so yeah just reckon the Da Vinci Code the next one I have is Angels and Demons um, this one is my favourite one out of the whole um, Robert Lanlin collection um, this one is about the Illuminati. Again, there's a movie. Um, there's a movie with this out. Again, my favourite. Really enjoy it. Again, I just will be repeating saying I'll be hooked on everything because all of his books I'm hooked on. <laughs> the next one I have is The Lost Symbol. Now, this one is, out of all of them, is my... I don't want to say Lee's favourite because it's still a good story but it's not one that I found the most memorable out of all of them but I believe this is about the Freemans I think hence why I say it's not rem rem that memorable I think it's about the Freemans I may, I may be completely wrong but as I said this is my least favourite one but I mean, as I said it's alright it's not like completely bad or anything it's just out of all of them that I've read, it's, it's just not my favourite. The next one I have is Inferno. Now, I could see why they skipped the last symbol and just went and made the movie of the Inferno. I've not actually seen the film. Um, really like the book. The only thing I didn't like about the story is what it ends up turning out to be. And it's like, oh, okay is that all like it kind of fell flat for me unfortunately but this one is basically about this threat that could you know that could harm the civilization of earth Um, it's made based on the um the painting is it dainty something like that where it where it shows the pathways to hell different levels of hell 
um, something like that anyway. But yeah, there's something that um, that basically puts um, the species in threat. I just felt it kind of fell flat, to be honest. And I mean, I get what they did. Like it was clever, but it was kind of oh, is that all it was? Sort of thing. <laughs> but it's all right. I, just, I was a massive fan with the conclusion. And then the final one, which I'm currently reading, which is Origin. So far. I'm enjoying it. Um, this one, which I've gathered so far, is um, about a bloke who was, who was, you know, he has some information which could really shake up, like the existence of how we came, um, which could really, really, you know, hurt the religious sort of, you know, the religious views on how the world was brought upon how it happened and everything like that so so far i'm actually really enjoying it but i do definitely recommend that you give dan brown books a go and don't and obviously there's the other two as well and um, that aren't in the robert london you know family but they are still really good i do definitely recommend that you give them a go because i really enjoy reading as i said it it's just it it's such a good read like i'm always hooked onto it i know i saw one of you saying <laughs> of his latest one saying it's the same old same old this is from the Dan Lang collection well yeah because it's a series it's like saying Harry Potter it's like saying Harry Potter I don't know the Order of Phoenix is the same sort of formula well that's because it's in the series like that's a stupid review what are you even talking about <laughs> like you know what I mean but yeah I definitely de definitely recommend that you give this author a go so that's it for this and um, video so bye guys